guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're brand new here, I'm Stav, and this is my channel, She Equips Herself. And today's video is gonna be a little bit different. My husband, Mac, and I are going to Florida for a few days, and we're gonna be flying. We do drive down there quite a bit, but this time we're flying, and we're gonna be bringing a firearm with us on the plane. So I figured this would be a good chance to show you guys how to travel with a gun on an airplane. mode right now where I'm trying to think of everything we need to get done before we leave. <laughs> Probably the one thing that I'm most worried about is that we're leaving our dog Mila for four days and we have a dog sitter who's going to be with her but I just love her so much and I guess I'm just a little bit nervous to leave her but she's going to be fine. <laughs> we're going to have a good time and so let's go over how to bring a gun on a plane. Number one, the first thing I recommend you do is to check the airline and TSA for their policies and the easiest way to do that is online. So in my case, we're flying with JetBlue. So I went on JetBlue's website and I found their policy for transporting firearms on a plane and I printed it out. So I'm gonna have their policy printed out and with me when I'm at the airport just in case whoever is checking us in doesn't know their policy or gets confused or whatever things happen. I also printed out TSA's policy. So I have that right here and I'm bringing that with me as well just so that I can have both their policies because I read them and some things from TSA's policies are a little different from JetBlue. So I'm just gonna have both with me just in case. We wanna make sure we're doing everything correctly. And another thing you wanna make sure of before you travel with a gun is the laws in the states where you're gonna be leaving, anywhere you're gonna be stopping, and then your final destination. So we're gonna be in Florida, but we're stopping in DC along the way. So the thing with traveling with a firearm is that if you stop somewhere, and say we stop in DC, but then something happens to our connecting flight and we have to d stay in DC for a few days, I do not have a license to carry in DC. I don't wanna take possession of my gun in DC because I could get in trouble. Mac is a police officer, so they have different rules. But say it was just me traveling, I don't wanna take possession of my firearm in DC because I don't have a license to carry in DC, I don't have a firearms license. So I could get in trouble if I do have a gun in DC. So if something like that were to happen, I would leave my baggage with the airline. I do not wanna take possession of my gun and then like go to a hotel and stay somewhere in DC because that would be illegal, it could get you in trouble. So make sure you know the laws of where you're gonna be um, you might have a license in that state, you might not. Like if you have a Utah license, which I do, I have a non-resident Utah firearms license. There are dozens of states that will allow me to possess a gun in that state with the Utah license, but DC is not one of those places. So know where you're gonna be, know where you're gonna be stopping, and what could potentially happen if you had to get your baggage there because you don't want to mess up and do something illegal because you could get in trouble. I spoke to JetBlue through like their chat feature and it seems like the employees who respond to the chats don't really know the ins and outs of the policy because I was asking them detailed questions since their policy kind of disagreed with TSA's policy in certain areas and the person just told me that I'd have to call because they didn't know the answer to my question. So. Don't count on the person answering your chat to know everything. You might have to call them, and calling airlines these days is just a pain in the butt because they have a lot going on. But um, do your best to interpret the policies and follow them. So knowing we were gonna be traveling with a firearm, we wanted to get a couple little safes. We're only taking one gun with us, and so we wanted one small safe for the gun. We got a separate one to put ammunition in. TSAs policy says that ammunition can be in the same hard-sided locked case as the firearm if it's packaged correctly but JetBlue's policy says that ammunition must be in a separate container and completely separate from the firearms locked box so we have two of these this is from Cabela's 
and on the back it says meets TSA travel guidelines. It has a combination because if you lose a key, you know, I just, I guess I trust my memory more than I trust myself to not lose a key. So we got, we got a couple of these. We're going to be putting the firearm in one and the ammunition in the other one so that they can be separate. And I think that having two will just be easier for us there. Cause if we only bring one and then we have to have the ammunition separately, then we're not going to be prepared. I'd rather have two than one. So that's that. I'm going to try to finish all the stuff I need to finish before our trip. And I'll see you guys bright and early in the morning. Okay, here are the gun cases. Pretty simple. That is not my combination. FYI, I changed it. <laughs> um, so here we have the unloaded 1911, two magazines. And then we're putting the ammunition in its original factory boxes in this other safe case. So we're going to... Bring those two in a checked bag. Good morning, guys. We're on our way to the airport. Um, we hit a bit of a snag this morning because I thought our flight was at 11, but it's actually at 10. So, oh, and we hit a bunch of traffic. So we're almost in Boston, but we're on our way to the airport and hopefully we'll get in quick and I'll try to show you guys as much of the process as I can as we bring the gun along with us. So once we got to the airport, I thought it was going to be this very long, drawn out process. And I'm the type of person who likes to get to the airport like three hours early, just in case, because I like to be prepared and not have to worry in case something happens and we need more time. So I like to get there early. I had some sort of brain fart this day and I thought our flight was an hour later than it was. Anyway, so we get to the airport and I'm thinking, I don't know if we're going to have enough time to do this but the process of checking in the gun was actually really simple. We had to go to the special services counter, not the regular check-in counter. We asked someone when we got there and that's where he directed us. So we went to the special services counter and you're gonna see here the lady working for JetBlue. She asked for our boarding passes, where we're going, uh, for Max ID and made sure it was unloaded, locked it back up. Then he had to fill out a little tag with his information on it. He had to sign it. Then she had us open up the case and put the tag inside with the firearm, made sure it was unloaded, locked it back up. Then we put a little lock on the actual bag that the case was going into and she took the bag, gave us a tag that corresponds to the tag that was put in with the firearm. And that was it. I thought that was really simple. And then we went through TSA. There was like no one in line <laughs> and we had plenty of time, which was pretty exciting. And then, we boarded the plane and we were off. When we got to the airport in Fort Myers, our bag was waiting for us. We opened it up to make sure everything was still there and then we could start our vacation. So the process wasn't complicated at all. 
Um, I would just really advise knowing the rules, like I said before, print them out. And also, there's an app called CCW app that I'm gonna show you on the side here. I definitely recommend downloading it so that you can see all the different states laws right on your phone. It's really helpful for if you're gonna be traveling. So you can go to the My Permits tab and you check off whichever licenses or permits you have. And then if you go to the far right to carry states, it will show you where you are allowed to carry. Um, and then you can click on each state. So if I click on, let's say I was going to Texas, you click on Texas and then it gives you all the information for Texas. You can click on certain things. So say I'm gonna to go to Texas and I wanna to go to a bar or a restaurant that has a bar and I don't know if I'm allowed to carry there. So I can go to restaurants serving alcohol. It says yes, I can click on that and then it will actually show me the law. And then if I click on the blue link, it will open up the law so I can read the whole law if I want to. Um, it also tells you any parking lot store parking lot storage rules they have, whether you have a duty to inform an officer if you get pulled over, whether or not you have to tell them that you have a gun on you. <clears throat> that varies state by state, so that's important to know. And there's just a lot of helpful information here. So you can see where you're allowed to carry um, based on whatever permits you have and then click on each state and it'll give you the laws in that state. So really helpful app, especially if you're gonna be traveling because it's your responsibility to know the laws in each state. But we had a really great time in Florida. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, I usually post a lot of content on there from my day to day. So you might've seen some of the stuff that we did there. Um, we went fishing, I caught a baby shark which was pretty cool. Matt caught a big ladyfish, like the biggest one I've ever seen. We had a lot of just downtime, enjoying walking on the beach, which is like my favorite thing in the whole world. And it was just a really nice trip. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you do that. Here's my handle right here so that you don't miss anything. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this is helpful in case you are thinking about traveling with a gun. Let me know what your experience has been if you've done it before whether it was positive or negative and what that process was like. So leave me a comment if you want to share that experience. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay safe. Bye.